Okay, in this video we're going to do an example involving Jefferson's method and Webster's method. So here we're working with the same example uh, that we worked with in the video on Hamilton's method, right? Namely, we have this galactic senate um, and we have all these various planets from the Star Wars universe, Bespin, Coruscant, Dagobah, etc. We have all their populations listed here. Uh, we've totaled all their populations to get the population of uh, all these planets combined, 44,673,874. There are 477 seats in our galactic senate here, and then we can use that to calculate the standard divisor, which we get from taking the total population of the entire galaxy in this case, and dividing by the number of seats. And so what the standard divisor is supposed to be telling us is every seat in our senate should be uh, essentially representing 93,655.92 people. So now to determine how many seats each planet should get, we take the population of each planet and we divide by the standard divisor, right? So we take Bespin's population of 1,928,414, we divide by the standard divisor and we get 20.5904. So this is saying that based on Bespin's population, if each seat represents 93,655.92 people, then based off by Bespin's population, um, they should be getting 20.5904 seats. The problem, of course, is, um, as I mentioned before, is that the fractional part doesn't make sense. We can't give out fractional seats. Jefferson's method and Webster's method differ from Hamilton's method in that Jefferson's method and Webster's method are both divisor methods, whereas Hamilton's method was a quota method. So remember that with Hamilton's method, we took these standard quotas, we rounded them down, and we added it up. And we got some number, and in the example we did, we got 474, and that was too few of, not, not enough seats, right? There were still three seats to give out. And so we decided how to give out those three additional seats by looking at the fractional parts of the standard quota. So with the divisor methods, we avoid looking at the fractional parts in that way. The fractional parts are only used to determine how we should round the numbers. Should we round them down? Should we round them up? So in, fra in the divisor methods, we use the fractional parts to, dis to determine how to round based on some kind of rounding rule. But other than that, the fractional parts don't play any role in determining how many seats each uh, planet would get. Instead, we let the, the divisor do all the work. For Jefferson's method, we s with any divisor method really, we first start with the standard divisor. In Jefferson's method, the rounding rule is always round down. So here in this column, this says lower quota Jefferson. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take the standard quota and we're going to round it down, right? We're going to round all the standard quotas down because that's the rounding rule that Jefferson's method tells us to use. And when we do that, we see that we have this, the 474 seats, which is too few, three seats under what we should be. So now we don't look at the fractional parts to decide how to distribute those three seats. All we do is we say, okay, that's not the right divisor. The standard divisor, that's the one we have to start with always, but in this case, it's not the correct one. We don't want to use it. So how do we determine the right divisor? Well, we have to take our standard divisor and either make it bigger or smaller, presumably by some small amount, right? We're not that far off. We have 474 seats being given out. We need 477, so we need just to adjust our divisor by some small amount to get us to 477. So let's try 93,000. Now, why should we try 93,000? Well, 474, well, how does that compare to 477? It's smaller. It's too small. Well, that means what we would like is for each of these numbers, Right? Each of these added, all, all these numbers added together to give us 474, we would like them to be a little bit bigger. And that way, hopefully, we could get to 477. But in order for these numbers to get bigger, remember how these numbers came about. They came about from taking the population of the planet and dividing by the standard divisor. 
So the, the population can't change, but the divisor is what we want to change. We want to alter it. So the only way we can do that um, is by making it smaller or bigger. And so if we want to make each one of these numbers a little bit bigger, we should make the standard divisor a little bit smaller. Right? If you take a number and divide by something smaller, then it'll be a little bit bigger. So in order to make the standard divisor a little bit smaller, we can try 93,000. So now let's erase all of these uh, because we don't, right? That, those were calculations based on the standard divisor and uh, they didn't give us the right answer. So we need to try this new divisor. So now we're going to take uh, the population and there we see 20.7356. And so we see that we've, we've gone up a little bit, right? This was a standard quota for the, the standard divisor and here's the quota for the new divisor and it's a little bit bigger. And so now if we, uh, let's extend that to each of the other cells, right, using the same formula, right, namely dividing the population by the new div Jefferson divisor, 93,000. Okay, so now Jefferson's rule says, how do we deal with these fractional pieces? Well, we're supposed to always round down. So we, let's always round these down. Okay. So we've done better. Remember before we had 474 seats being given out. Now we're giving out 476, but we're still off. It's still not the right number of seats. So that tell, tells us that although we made it smaller, we didn't make it small enough, right? 476 is still too small, so we need to make the, the uh, standard, we need to alter the divisor to make it a little bit smaller to hopefully make each of these numbers just a little bit bigger. So we don't need to uh, alter the divisor by much. So we, we went from 93,655.92, we lowered to 93,000, so let's lower it just a little bit more. Let's try 92,700, okay? We go back here, and now we do the same thing. We take the population, we take the population, we divide by this new proposed divisor, and then we have our quota, and now let's extend this to all of the other Planet. So again, Jefferson's rounding rule tells us that we need to round down each of these quotas. So we do that. And now we can see that in this case, when we sum up all of these numbers, we get 477, which is exactly the number of seats in our Galactic Senate. So in this case, that was the right divisor to use, right? Because it gave us 477. Notice what we did. We tried the standard divisor. We calculated the quotas, we rounded them all down, we got 474, it was too small. So we said, okay, we need to alter the standard divisor, make it a little bit smaller. We tried 93,000. Again, we calculated the quotas, population divided by the, the, the divisor of 93,000. We rounded down, added them up, we got 476, still too small. And finally, we lowered it again to 92,700 and did the same calculations and finally we get 477. So that tells us that in fact this is the correct answer. This is not just a proposed Jefferson divisor, this is the right divisor to use. Now, it turns out that the divisor is not unique. Namely, there's other divisors we could have used. For example, we could have used 92,701 or 92,699 and other values as well. So it doesn't matter exactly which one we use. All we care about is that we use one that gives us the right uh, apportionment. That's what the whole idea behind divisor methods is, is that we choose whatever uh, value of the divisor will actually give us the right apportionment given the rounding rule. So for Jefferson, the rounding rule is always round down. Okay, so finally, what's the Jefferson apportionment? Well, it's the one that was given out in this method, namely, the one, uh, if we look at this column that totals to 477, these are the number of seats that Jefferson's method says we should give out. Namely, Bespin should get 20 seats, Coruscant should get 16, Dagobah should get 100, Endor should get 124, Genosis should get 20, Hoth should get 25, Naboo should get 26, and Tatooine should get 146 and that will be the Jefferson apportionment. We want to do um, 
Webster's method. Webster's method is also divisor method. So the only way that it really differs from Jefferson's method is in the rounding rule used. So whereas Jefferson method always says round down, Webster's method says that we should round in the conventional sense. Namely, we look at the fractional part. If it's less than 0.5, we round down. If it's greater than or equal to 0.5, we round up. The first divisor that we start with is always a standard divisor. We look at uh, the standard quota. What we want to do is we want to round it now according to Webster's rounding rule, namely uh, the conventional rounding. So for example, this 20.5904, we're going to round that based on Webster's rule. Well, that look at the fractional part, it's 0 0.5904. That's greater than or equal to 0 0.5, clearly, so we round that up to 21. Uh, Coruscant 16.5451, the fractional part is greater than or equal to 0.5, so we round that one up to 17. For Dagobah, the fractional part is 0.2111, so we're going to round that down to 99. Uh, Endor, the fractional part is 0 0.4066, so that gets rounded down to 123. Uh, Genosis, uh, the fractional part is 0 0.5301, so that gets rounded up to 21. Hoth, the fractional part is 0 0.0672, so we'll get rounded down uh, to 25. Naboo gets rounded down to 26. And Tatooine gets rounded down to 145. And so now notice what happens when we add all these numbers up. We get exactly 477, which is the number of seats in our Galactic Senate. So in this case, we use the standard divisor. We calculated the standard quotas, and we rounded using Webster's rounding rule. And when we add all those numbers up, we got exactly the right number of seats. So that means we're done. We don't have to try a different divisor. In this case, uh, for this example, for Webster's rule uh, method, the standard divisor was the right one to use. And so what should the proposed Webster divisor be? Well, it should be exactly the one we used, the standard divisor. Right, so that would be our, not just a proposed Webster divisor, but the Webster divisor. And again, of course, this is not unique. We could have, there's other values that we could have used. Uh, for example, 93,654 probably would have worked, right? There's a whole interval of possible values that would have given us this right thing. So what if this had not worked? Well, it would have been the same kind of idea. If it had not worked, then when we, when we rounded the standard quotas and we added them all up, our number would either be too small or too large. Based off of that, we would take the standard divisor and we would make it smaller or bigger and we would calculate quotas again and then round them in the conventional way and then add them up and see what happens. But in this case, it happened that uh, the standard divisor worked perfectly fine and we don't need to do anything else. So. The Webster's apportionment, apportionment would be exactly uh, these numbers that we got from using the standard divisor. So 21, 17, 99, 123, 21, 25, 26, and 145. That would be the Webster apportionment. And so it's interesting to kind of look at the Jefferson apportionment versus the Webster apportionment. So for example, Jefferson gives Bespin 20 seats, whereas Webster gives Bespin 21 seats. Uh, Coruscant is different in the two cases. Jefferson gives 16 seats, where Webster gives 17. Jefferson gives Dagobah 100, whereas Webster gives 99. Endor gets 124 under Jefferson, whereas only gets 123 under Webster. Gen Genosis gets 20 under Jefferson and 21 under Webster. Hoth gets 25 under both methods. Naboo gets 26 under both methods. And Tatooine gets 146 under Jefferson and 145 under Webster.